Okay, so uh, we'll move quickly on. And I told you before the break that we have somebody special in the studio today. She's a social entrepreneur. Her name is Mrs. Bekeme Masode. So, Bekeme, welcome to the show. Thank you, Tumi. Yeah, I know you're Mrs., but I know Masode is your maiden name. So we have to refine that. So you tell me. No, you can call me Ms. Bekeme Masade. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. no problem. It's fine with that. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I do for business. So oh, we can okay. stick with that. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, so Bekeme, yeah. um, we know you're a social entrepreneur. You've done a lot, you know, in creating awareness, and you have a company called CSR. CSR, yeah, in, in action. action, and you're the yeah. executive director. Yes. Do you want to tell us about CSR in action? Well, CSR in action was set up to meet a need, and there was a dearth of, of information on on um, social work in Nigeria, literally. And, you know, I had worked in the UK, in the councils. I saw what was being done in terms of, of good governance. And so I thought, you know what, this is obviously a need in Nigeria. Governance is obviously, uh, there's a huge gap in yeah. governance. And so we set up this, this ent uh, enterprise uh, to address the need for information, to encourage an awareness and advancement of collective social responsibility, mm -hmm. literally. Um, so that's what we're doing. Um, we pursue it through advocacy work. We have annual conferences. Mm -hmm. um, we have a report on social investment in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So basically, we look at what businesses are doing um, in terms of, of social responsibility mm -hmm. and good governance in general. Yeah. And then we report it for free. Yeah. Um, we also have a ranking, which we just introduced. It's called the 3C Index. Mm. And this time around, we've partnered Accenture and Ernst mm. & Young to give you that level of mm. credibility that it requires, yeah. you know, because we didn't want a challenge where people are saying, oh, who's this, you know, not so big organization. Yeah. So we wanted to address that to show that it wasn't about whether we liked the businesses or not. Mm. It was really about what they were doing mm. because every little thing counts yeah. in driving Nigeria to where we want it to be. Mm. Um, and then we recently started a, an initiative called The Good Citizen, mm. um, you know, because we feel again that it's a collective responsibility uh, for Nigerians to drive Nigeria where it needs to be. To be yeah. And the average Nigerian thinks, oh, you know, I'm probably waiting for my turn. They're like, no, it's not about your turn, yeah. it's about Nigeria. Yeah. So let's start thinking. You know how the Americans get excited and say, I'm American and yes. proud. <laughs> we need to be Nigerian and proud. And this is something that we're driving. And then finally, we do consultancy for businesses as well. Yeah, um, you mentioned good citizen, and, um, and uh, that was really catchy for me. Do you want to like go further on that good um, citizen initiative? Do you right. want to talk about Okay, it? so yes, the good citizen initiative is really citizen-driven. Yeah. The individual, the average man on the street. Mm. You need to start thinking. You need to start thinking of how you can be more responsible in the way that you vote. You need to be educated in the civic you know in civic education you need to we need to get businesses involved you need to look at recycling mm. um we're working towards a one nigeria mm. you know nigeria that is for everybody nigeria that doesn't belong to the rich um, nigeria that doesn't belong to one particular region mm. but then again it's about the individual consciousness of the fact that there is one nigeria we also need to define you know certain concepts uh, to people Many people don't even know, um, the, understand the notion of corruption, for instance. Mm. Um, so you hear people say things like, oh, well, I got a government official to do me um, some private practice because it's cheaper. And then some of, some of the times, these are men of the cloth. So they don't even understand. So we're saying to, you, to them, sit back and think about the notion yeah. of right and wrong. wrong yeah. Right? Um, Recently, I read an article between comparing Nigeria and Mexico, for instance, and even though we're very similar in terms of culture mm -hmm. and everything, somehow they seem to be moving. How are they doing that, right? How are the other countries doing what the things that they're doing? It is about the individuals. I just came for, from a course yeah. at Harvard, and one of my professors, Ricardo Hausmann, was talking about monkeys jumping from trees. Yeah. And literally what he meant was... Um, something he called person bites, how important the individual person bite is mm -hmm. to the development of a nation. Yeah. So it's about you as a person networking with other person bites mm -hmm. to basically form, you know, this, this strong coalition for, for national mm -hmm. development. So we're saying to these persons, 
all of us in Nigeria, what do we do to drive Nigeria forward? Yeah. And so basically, it's that consciousness. So we have a you know a, a Twitter handle, yeah. um, Good Citizen NG. Um, we have a website as well. We have a petitions to to people to sign up for and, mm -hmm. and all of that. So yeah. I think it's really interesting, especially as you know the new government is coming, is yeah. coming in, and you know. Uh, uh, a president is known as a man of integrity. Mm -hmm. We're hoping that you know people start thinking about these things. It doesn't take one man yeah. to change mm -hmm. Nigeria. We need Everyone's everybody. Collective. Yeah, yeah collective I was going to say that uh, obviously coming from a background of working in the local authority here, and uh, we've obviously experienced living here that social responsibility is a big thing yes. in England, yeah. I mean, or rather in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at Nigeria, what do you think are the main priorities that need to be addressed in terms of social responsibility from your experience? Well, the truth is, the average person thinks, oh, start giving me, um, you know, welfare or what, or, or what have you. In my opinion, it's about the structures, the, the, the institutions that we need to build and this level of consciousness that I mentioned earlier, mm. um, it's, it's really not about giving back. Mm. It's about establishing a consensus. So starting from the little things. Yes, social infrastructure is necessary. We're looking at things like power. Mm. You know, power has to come, come to the fore. Yeah. And then we, talk, then we talk about empowerment in the real sense. Our economy is not as diversified as it should be. Mm. So how do we really get people to become the sort of entrepreneurs that we want because we need product diversi diversification in Nigeria? So how do we get to that point? So for me, I really see quick wins yeah. that can we can build upon in the long run. So instead of um, trying to you know, do too many big things at the same time, focus on the little things that you can get done and set a solid foundation you know, speaking of having worked in the UK, for instance, I know that we had over 160 indicators that we used to measure um, um, the councils. And I know how my council, one of the councils I used to work for, used to be very particular about how well we did. Mm. Now, that's why we introduced that index for businesses, mm. right? Because we're thinking, OK, how well are you doing? Now, many businesses are not necessarily excited, but many are also <laughs> excited. Well, yeah. the ones that aren't excited is because <laughs> Nobody really has been putting, you exactly. know, any pressure on them to do things yeah. in, in a certain right. way. Right. I was so, going to say that, yeah. uh, you know, the uh, I always say this on the breakfast show that uh, the trees that are growing mm -hmm. are the forests of tomorrow. Yes. And that's the youth. Uh, in terms of sport, social responsibility mm -hmm. among the youth, not in the lovely parts of Lagos, where Tammy tells me, or Abuja. We're talking of, I've heard of a place called Soko, is it Sokota? Sokoto. Sokoto, I've been yeah. told Sokoto is quite yes. uh, run down in terms of infrastructure. And so, many other places. And many other places. Yeah. So a place like that, I mean, what do you think can be uh, implemented in terms of social responsibility for the youths? You see, this is, this is not something that... A president would look at well he would yeah. in the general sense but again it's about the governor whoever's governing the state to a, to some extent they have some funding mm. what are you doing with the funding mm. what exactly is he doing with the funding mm. this these are the questions that you need to ask is it about because oftentimes you see what politicians typically think of themselves. Mm -hmm. Their drive for, 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 for winning office is mm -hmm. not necessarily for the people. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. about personal ambition. Mm -hmm. So when they stop thinking about themselves and start thinking about long-term value mm -hmm. to the people of their state, I mean, the, literally mo many of these terms mean seven, so they have to serve. So when they start serving, their ideas out there for, for, for solutions. We have a call on the line before we move on. I'm sure that's for you, Bekeme. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Okay, we know who is talking. That should be John. Yes, John. Okay, welcome <laughs> to the show. I guess right. So, do you have a question for Bekeme? Yeah, my, okay. my sister, thank you very much for the encouragement. You thank you. Yeah. But to be honest with you, I love your courage. Mm. But one <laughs> thing I want you to always put in mind in your, in your movement regarding Nigeria and anything you do, anywhere you are, Always let the government know that the system we are operating as in Nigeria is not profitable for us. Yes. Now, like, like we'll be honest with you. Mm. 
I'm in Nigeria. I've lived in the you know, Yoruba man. Mm -hmm. I've lived in the North and I've experienced the North. I'm not saying the North are not good to be in Nigeria. They are Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But we should always practice a system whereby everybody will be in their autonomy system. There is a way the Yoruba operates that benefits them. There is a way the North operates that benefits them. The federal government should not be like a supervisor. Mm -hmm. They should not impose any system that the system that Yoruba practice must be the system the Awusa must practice. No. You see, the system, our system is our real problem. I won't lie to you. Mm -hmm. I have business here in, in this country too. But my sister, ask yourself, all the Nigeria that have business before, where are they now? Even in this country, those that have many houses in this country before we came here, where are they? So That's Julius, do you have um, an advice for Bekeme or do you have a contribution? No, it's just my advice to her that anywhere you go, any Nigeria you meet, always okay. encourage them to know that the system we have is not profitable. And you how can we make it better, Julius? You say you can be who you are. Okay. You can be who you are. But that doesn't mean you should not tell the truth. I'm, I'm who I am. Mm. I can help any Nigeria. Mm. But that doesn't mean if I see the opportunity to let you know that the system we are operating is not profitable. Mm. I wouldn't like to. It's not. Okay. Ask yourself, all the business people in Nigeria, where are they today? Okay. Is the is the structure. The structure will kill you if you don't take time. Mm. Okay. All right. Thank okay. you, John. Julius, thank you so much. So I'm sure, Bekeme, you've learned you something. You Julius. That was John. Jo <laughs> John, true. I mean, John. that call, I mean, uh, it's not profitable. How, tell John, tell John now, how can we make it profitable? <laughs> the thing That's is, John talking. See, this He's one of our favorite callers, but then tell, <laughs> tell, tell him that how, can, how do you think we can make it profitable? I think, I think one of the problems that we have as Nigeria is what he just said. Mm. People are still thinking of themselves as either Yoruba or oh, Igbo yeah. oh. or Igala or whatever tribe. And what I'm saying is that we detribalize. Mm. As long as we keep thinking mm. that this is about me yeah. and my people, mm. there is going to be a problem. problem yeah. Now, what we're prescribing is not necessarily, oh, let's um, use a regional or a federal mm. or whatever system. What we just need to agree is that we want to keep Nigeria. As now, for everybody. Exactly. So yeah. we want to keep Nigeria. How we do that is then left, you know, it's up to debate, really. Yeah. Um, but then working with what we already have, how can we best maximize that structure? Mm. This is what we're talking about. So the, the less we think about what our names are, mm. where they come from, you know, you're, you're thinking of the Western world where, you know, you're born in, you, you originally come from Chicago and then you're born in Minnesota. And when somebody asks you, you say, well, I come from Minnesota. Mm. You don't necessarily say I come from Chicago, Chicago. I come from wherever yeah. else I was born. Mm. That's what we need to start thinking about. Yeah. It's about Nigeria. Okay, we have another caller on the line. Hello. 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 Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for calling. Welcome to the show. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm, uh, my name is Aladji Adebanjo. Okay, I'm thank calling from Coventry. Thank you, Aladji. Um, do you have a question for our guest here? Yes, I love that lady. I love the passion <laughs> she got for yeah. coming up. Thank yeah. you. I'm telling you, yeah, yeah. because uh, Nigeria, thank you. as we Nigerians, we have everything it takes to be the best country in the world. Mm. Alaji. And what I want to tell you, if I am going to your website now, I want to know more about your passion of that country. The country is supposed to be the United States of Africa. Uh, United, it should be the leading country in Africa. Yes. Yeah. Africa countries supposed not to be going to uh, um, uh, World Bank to borrow money. No. We're supposed to be shipping our African countries as our brothers and sisters. Mm. But what it said is that the good governance is what we needed in the country. Mm. If you see what uh, Buhari is doing now by, uh, by inaugurating uh, National Economic Council, mm -hmm. that is the way forward. Mm. And uh, it's not the government alone. Every house must be on there mm. to mm. put this country forward. Yes. Don't think that those people ruling the Western world, they got they were in their mother world for nine months, like our leader, like good luck, Jonathan. Mm. 
Okay, right, thank, thank you. you so much. Uh, hello. Okay, thank you, Alaji, for your contribution. And became they're all saying they respect your boldness because, and I respect your boldness too because I do. I think Nigeria <laughs> is not something you can just take, take on. up <laughs> up like that and try to change people's <laughs> mindset. It's really hard to change the mindset of Nigerians. Trust me. So for you to stand in the gap for people and trying to be their voice, not even just in Nigeria, but in the international community, I think you're really doing something wonderful. And tell Thank us about you. your work in the international community. Well, we have partnerships with yeah. the international community. Mm. Um, we have, for instance, we provide capacity building. So yeah. in a partner partnership with one of the um, UK universities, we provide social reporting services. Okay. Um, this, is what is, this is what encourages um, um, yeah. Um, disclosures, the for instance. On, yeah, that's on, the on pictures coming up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we we have uh, some of those things, you know, with international organizations. Oh, that's really governor of the ex governor of Lagos State. Yeah. You know, that's um, the NCDMB, Nigerian oh, Content Development and Monitoring Board. Oh, it looks and like that's oh, the gosh, the local content uh, uh, manager for uh, Chevron. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's what, what was happening there. That's our conference. It's called Sustainability in the Extractive Industries Conference. Oh, okay. And okay. basically, we're saying how do we make um, uh, exploration yeah. less uh, less harmful mm. to to the people and to the environment, mm. and how do we diversify that sector as mm. well? I mean, there's renewable energy now. Yes. There and is. the good thing is we have the resources to Boom. lead in that arena as well, yeah. right? We have our sun, the vo photovoltaic, vo photovoltaic sources. Mm. We have uh, fossil, we, no, not fossil fuels. We have you know lots of of, of, of renewable yeah. materials that that we can use biogas and biofuels yeah, fuels, yeah. right we have all of these things and we have little entrepreneurs trying to do it but nobody's encouraging them, them. because everybody's still focused on oil and gas mm. yes it makes us money in the short term but the resources are finite and you know they can be very harmful to to the environment yeah how about us doing what we need to do for the short term and then plan you know for that time when we can take over that space we mm. don't always have to follow we have everything that we need. One of the callers said to us, oh, everything that we need is in, is in Nigeria. Yeah, and, and I agree. Yeah. I typically don't source funding because, you know, we have a non-profit aspect to what we do, mm. right? Um, in fact, most of what we do is, 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 is that. Yes. Not quite charity, oh. you know, but, you know, but um, it's, it's focused on social development. So okay. it's really not for profit. So yeah. we just make, in, we fa secure enough funding to, to carry okay. out the activities. activities. Right. So, I typically don't get us to seek funding externally because it's all in Nigeria. Mm. But then what do we use the money for? for you okay. hear stories about um, the Jewish community, for instance, who typically, even the Mexican story I talked about, mm. they spend their money internally, mm. right? The, apparently the Jewish community spends it maybe 30 times first within the community before it goes out with us. Mm. As soon as the money comes, we buy a yacht in Miami. <laughs> right, we've got a caller. We've got a caller, but we just got, I was going like to ask that. you something. We've got a caller. Uh, good morning and uh, welcome to the Ben Breakfast Show. Tell us your name, where you're calling from, and please go ahead with your contribution. Chief Kale Osho, I'm speaking from London. I'm speaking from Stockwell in London. Very good morning to you. Good, good morning, morning, sir. Good morning, sir. To your guest. Good morning. Um, morning. May I say that unfortunately you seem to have diverted the subject from what it was intended. Is social enterprise, not social responsibility. Those are two different things. And uh, gentlemen, I'm sorry I forgot your name, but please forgive me. You, you, you uh, kept talking about social responsibility. Social enterprise is where people can do business without the capital, um, commercial uh, uh, motivation. Is how young people can start business in the grassroots, on grassroots basis, ra rather than going to the bank to borrow, uh, to feel that you cannot do business unless you go to the mm -hmm. bank. Is how the community, how you can mobilize your community to come into business and how the community can benefit from that social enterprise. Mm. Um, may I just disagree uh, with uh, your dear guest, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that um, I do not agree that you have to start in that 
macro ma, uh, macro basis nigeria nigeria it should be grassroots you cannot build a pyramid from top to bottom it has got to come from the bottom to i mean to the top and this is the way we should encourage our our people how they can use the synergy within the community to do something rather than saying uh, uh, Nigeria, we are not competing with anybody in the world. Nigeria can never be a United States. I don't agree. <laughs> well, okay, just I don't one agree. second. Uh, I don't so, agree. Sorry, Carla. I, I think I, I, Nigeria I, I, can I mean, be in the United yeah, States. Got, uh, some <laughs> All right. Uh, we've got some uh, interesting point. But you've just mentioned uh, grassroots. Uh, tell us more what you mean by grassroots, how uh, uh, things can be started from grassroots, how policies can be implemented at grassroots. That's a very valid point. Tell us more. Well, grassroots really means your community, how to encourage your brothers and sisters. I mean, I may uh, not have business idea, but I may have some money in savings. Mm -hmm. If my brother comes to me with a business idea, mm -hmm. how we can put it together, mm -hmm. how we can use the ballet in my community rather than <laughs> the governor, mm -hmm. who is politically motivated, mm -hmm. how we can use the resources within our community. That's what I mean by grassroots. Okay. And um, Bekeme was obviously we're against you saying that Nigeria cannot bec become a United States. I think Nigeria can become a United States. <laughs> no, 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 please don't misquote me. What I mean is, why should that be our motivation? Mm. Why should it be that Nigeria must become very big that should motivate us individually? That should not be. <laughs> Is what we can do for and within our community. Okay. That should be our first uh, priority. Uh, okay. Rather than uh, what Nigeria can do, what Nigeria can do. Okay. I, 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 I hope I, I made my point clear. Yeah. Yes, Chief. Yeah. Um, but before you go, Chief, we would like Bekeme to make a response to that. Yeah, I mean, first of all, if you go back to the notion of what a social enterprise is, a social enterprise is basically an enterprise like yeah. every other business but it's focused on social innovation yeah. right so you can be a social entrepreneur who's encouraging businesses to be more responsible mm. now and what i did say about our work for instance good citizen is that we're working with the average citizen mm -hmm. which goes down to the grassroots i mean the exactly. grassroots is made up of individuals mm -hmm. and we work with diverse organizations like you know uh, jci mm -hmm. you know junior achievement so we don't it's not everybody who's going to be an orphanage or or or, or you know a, yeah. a direct youth empowerment uh, uh, entrepreneur yeah. right there are people who were working from the policy angle yeah. we're working from the institution building mm. angle mm. right and we're working with people who already proliferate that space mm. now the people who proliferate that space cannot be impactful unless there's some level of change in the institutions okay. now because before these are the people who will fund their initiatives mm. yeah before so, we go on we have another call up became they are in for you today hello good morning hello good morning good morning, good morning. welcome to the show what's your name and where are you calling from please yeah, my name is Emmanuel. I'm calling from the Republic of Ireland. Oh, thank you, Emmanuel, for calling. So, what's your contribution, Emmanuel? Yeah, I have to thank the young lady for such a brilliant idea. Mm. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's something that uh, will be digested by most of the people, yeah. especially in Nigerian society today. Mm. Yeah. I have to say that... Um, when we are talking about the social, that is my own contribution of entrepreneur. Okay. It has to do with something with conscience. Mm -hmm. As one of your speaker mentioned there, it has to do with citizenship. Yeah. It has to do with regulation into mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. And then when you look at all these three factors which I've mentioned, mm -hmm. you ask yourself, how can we get it better? Yeah. The only way we can get it better is by putting everything in a proper place. Mm. What I mean by putting everything in a proper place is not a, a, a rocket science. But the basic infrastructures of human beings to exist mm. in such a society like Nigeria, mm. before we start thinking about the United States, mm. I know we will, be there, we will be there one day, but not as of now. Yeah. When the basic infrastructures are put in a place, yeah. like electricity, mm. Mm. like rules and regulations mm. of, 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 of um, 
the country that will be monitored in such a way that will get a vibrant and efficient out yes. of it. Mm. Yes. And then the institutions who are working must be sought in such a way that the right people are there. Mm. So if we get all these things right, mm. I believe we are going to go further with that social entrepreneurship. Okay. Because this is a basic foundation of a community. Mm. And besides that, we ask ourselves a question. Are we conscious enough? Are mm. we applying the citizenship law? Yeah. Are we applying regu the regulations? These are the three basic things. Mm. And that is why we still have to go back from our basic. Mm. Our basic, I mean, if you watch, if I should take it a little bit out of the gate, mm. right from the time the military came to government in that country, we ask ourselves, have they really succeeded in mm. what they are doing? Yeah. Even the democratic elected government, have they really succeeded? Mm. Then something is wrong in the system. Yeah. And the only thing I think we can do, starting from the basic, getting the right infrastructure in place, and then we start building up. And the people who committed crime will be punished. <laughs> we can't be rushed, shying away from it. Yeah. No, we because can't. Because if you watch our government, right from the time they come into existence, all of them committed the same crime, mm -hmm. all from military to present. Yeah. So we have to shift from that idea, yeah. then build up another united Nigeria, mm. so that people, the citizens, will be very happy. Yeah. Mm. Thank, yes. you so much, Thank you so much, Chief, Thank for you. calling. Thank you. That was really, really Excellent good. And call. I'm sure we all took something from yes. it. Mm. So, Bekeme, obviously, we never have enough time every time. So, <laughs> but we want to thank you for coming. What are your final thoughts? Um, what are your final words you want to say? Well, my final words with that will be that, um, you know, the average Nigerian starts thinking about what we can do to mm. make Nigeria a better place. Yeah. Um, um, it's not about pointing fingers and saying that person didn't do that. The last caller just said it. Yeah. Um, basic regulations, are you actually adhering to them? Mm. You know, these are some of the things that, um, you know, we should be thinking about. And then to be uh, a bit selfish, I would also <laughs> like to talk about our conference, oh, please which do. is coming yeah, up in October. Yeah, I was actually going to say, is it the collective, that, yeah, the, 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 the collective social investment report? Is that The collective social investment report, report. is the, the free report we do for businesses. Yeah. And as okay. I said, we did introduce an index, mm -hmm. and we're currently collecting the information for that. And then we'll have quality assurance by Ernst & Young. Yeah. And then we're partnering different organizations, yeah. both locally and internationally, um, because we, people need to know about what is happening yeah. in Nigeria. There's a report by Accenture in South Africa, recently reimagining Africa, mm. you know, that there's a $350 billion wow. uh, uh, opportunity for Africa. Wow. Yeah. So this sort of information yeah. helps to businesses to yeah. see raw data on what is happening. Yeah, so do you want to tell yeah, us about the, the conference? The yeah. conference actually is, is the Annual Sustainability and Extractive Industries okay. Conference. We typically have all companies, uh, mining companies supporting them. Mm. You know, we have the Shell, the Chevron. We mm. have usually um, d these diverse organizations coming together to talk about how we can better work mm. uh, the extractive industries, which would be oil and gas and mining. Yeah. Um, so like I said, we're looking at these opportunities and we're looking for how we can, so the, the theme for this year is unleashing the potential within the extractive industry. And what's industries. the venue? When is the, it taking place? The venue is Lagos to be confirmed. Yeah. Um, it's on the 23rd of October. Yeah. Um, where, you know, there will be exhibitions from people who are into renewable energy, as yeah. I did mention. And it's very, very, very affordable for anybody to come. Yeah, so if um, they want to um, know more about the details, website? Um, our website is www.csrinaction.org. So csr-in-action.org um, forward slash S-I-T-E-I. You should be able to find information about yeah. the conference there. Okay. Thank you so much, Bekeme, for coming Thank on you. the show. Lovely. And Thank we you. really appreciate what you're doing in Thank Nigeria. You. Thank you for so helping job. Nigerians <laughs> have, have a voice in the international community. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Okay, yeah. so um, that's all for um, the... Sorry. The guests. The guests. So um, we'll quickly go on the break now. When we come back, we'll continue the topics for today, Tunisia and Greece. Very important topics for today. And, and a few again, from Nigeria. I was going to say, we need to talk yes. about Nigeria. Uh, do you think blackmail is uh, real? Do you think blackmail exists? Uh, 
President-elect Muhammad Buhari's uh, brother-in-law, yeah. uh, there is an alleged uh, statement in one of the online media publications, publications yeah. that say uh, he took a bribe, but then... Uh, it, of 300, it, 300 million, million naira. naira. That could buy me 15 houses in Peckhamshire. Not Peckham, <laughs> but Peckhamshire. We'll be right back after the break. Don't go away.